Coming to you live from Cardinal Sports Zone Studios. This is live with 55. What is up, everybody? Welcome. I did the old school intro. It is a, an impromptu edition. I won't even call it the Cardinal Sports Zone podcast because this is going to be a YouTube exclusive, well, social media exclusive. I'm your host, Jeremy Wallman, and I'm here for about 30 minutes. Uh, just want to answer any questions that you all have. What's up, Jeremy? Or here, I can't see. Well, I know you couldn't see me because I wasn't talking yet. Cam, what's good? Trav, what's good? Tyler, what's good? Everybody, what's good? Scuba Steve, Tim Slinker, absolutely. Um, uh, yeah, man, just did the old school intro from Live with 55. It uh, never got pulled off because of copyright infringement, and I appreciate that. But, um, Steve, look, this is all because of you. Hold on, I got a... Uh... Right now, bruh. Gonna have a little, little, uh... Gonna have a little person... I'm going to have a guest, special guest, joining in with us here in just a few seconds. But, man, did you see the question I asked you Twitter like 30 minutes ago? Um, what's up, Ryan? What's up, Corey? What's up, Tom? What's up, Erastus? What's up, Steve? Look, this is – wasn't this your fault, Steve? Steve, didn't – aren't you the one that, that made me hop on? I'm trying to uh, get this back, you know – no, it was Brian, 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 Steve. Y'all look alike, I guess. Um, what's good, Jeremy? What's good, little Rob? Look, Brian, you got to hop in here. You're the one that wanted. What's up, sis? Michelle in the house. That makes it official. Now you know you have a podcast. Look, Brian, I'm okay with it, though, man. I am uh, here a la carte tonight uh, here with Lu uh, my, my puppy, Lucy, Um uh, What's up, everybody, man? This is this is crazy. It's a Monday night. Wrestling's on. I normally don't do anything Monday nights, but watch wrestling and uh, talk to the wife on the phone for a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Working fools. What's up, Fabian? But yeah, I got a, uh, you know, uh, I may or may not have sent the invite out to Steve. Now, whether, he, whether or not he, uh... all right, hold on real quick. All right, hold on. This is live radio. Sorry. Sorry for the singing. Uh, let's see. Where is the join? The join guest. Okay, join guest. Normally I have everybody on here from the jump. We're gonna have we're gonna have one more person in here. As you can tell, this was not playing none of my co-hosts are in the house right now. Kenny adding to the staff too. Hey, Jeremy, another huge commitment. Absolutely. Uh, Fabian, absolutely. Nasty Nate. Tom Jeff. Look, I had to pause it. What, BBN said what? I don't normally. Adidas paid $3 million for the unicorn. You know what? Let them pay whatever they want to. Uh, Sean, I don't. What's up, Tino? What's up, Lil Rock? Absolutely. What's good, everybody? Jeez. Man, inject this directly into my veins. Ray Ray Joseph next. Are we getting that Villanova kid? I don't know. Uh, the person that we have on here in a few minutes might be able to answer that question a little bit better. Uh, only because, man, I'll be honest with you. I had There he is. Look, there he is right there. It's my guy, Ty Spalding. Ty, what's up, man? What's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. Absolutely, cards are on fire. Um yeah, I saw the person say something about we paid Ruben three million, but you know that that came from like a Kentucky fan. What whether whether it whether it was true or not, like NIL is legal now, so whatever we do, we do. Uh, Loving Sats pick on his Twitter. Michelle says I, you can't see the chat, can you, Ty? No, I got it. Oh, you do? Okay, I could. Yeah, I, I, I was not sure if you could or not. Two to class and Ric Flair. Woo! What's up, Ty? But this is my guy Ty Spalding. Uh, Ty, what is your official uh, title at Rivals? I, I don't. I don't want to mess it up. Um, I mean, essentially, I'm the owner and the publisher of 
the Louisville rival side. So there you go. Uh, you between these between me and him, all the scoops for the last six months have all come from this this little uh, group of two right here. So uh, Tim, what's the single biggest factor with Sat getting these recruits? I mean, I think it's NIL. Like honestly, I mean, if you look at it big picture, a lot of the let's put it this way. I know a lot of people that used to coach for Louisville uh, oh, throughout the years. And even they're texting me saying, hey, the current coaching staff isn't getting any credit. And and I have seen that they're not getting a whole lot of credit. But, man, Steve Clarkson is out there. Y'all want to talk about Scott Satterfield out there working fools, and that's fine. But Steve Clarkson has every bit. Uh, he should receive every bit of praise. Higgy, I'm not letting you in. Uh, every bit of praise as anybody else. He's been doing a fantastic job. Yeah, and, let, me, let me hop in real quick, if you don't mind, Jeremy. No, not a problem. Go ahead, Ty. Uh, so I've been telling people since March, um, my, you know, I have a tailgate group at the football stadium, and some uh, people from the athletic department came and spoke to us back in March um, about NIL. And I've been telling people since then, like, L really feels like they can compete with just about anyone in the country when it comes to NIL. Um, and I think Kenny Payne's going to have the same advantages that Scott Satterfield's having in basketball. Um, but I don't think Kenny Payne is, is at the level that Satterfield is in regards to um, utilizing it full board. I think he's uh, being a little bit more patient. Um, but, but either way, I think basketball is going to reap the same benefits as football is. Absolutely. And, uh, I think the thing with KP is just from what I've gathered, of course, it's no secret. Everybody here on the podcast, outside the podcast, beside the podcast, know that I have personal relationships with multiple staff members. And I, the thing I keep getting is KP is all for NIL, but he doesn't want these kids coming in demanding. And I can, I can verify that two of them that we that we passed on, uh, and we did. Or I'm, I don't know why I did that. We did pass on them. People said we missed out on them. Came straight in and was like, "Need a million instead of I want to work hard and play basketball here at the University of Louisville. What are the NIL opportunities?" And I mean, KP wants a basketball first guy, a uh, basketball first kid, and and I don't blame him for that at all. Like. Just like Michelle just said, Kenny Payne has to weed out the greedy. He's trying to build, and that's absolutely what he's doing. And I, I get the impatience from the fan base, but I, listen, one thing that I've learned, especially as somebody who, who pretty much put the staff out there a month before Kenny Payne was even mentioned as the head coach, every time I put something out, they delayed that. And now I, I started taking it personal because I was like, all right, I, I can tell y'all. I was having some people tell me I could announce it, and then those announcements wouldn't come to weeks later. So he's going to do – I can uh, – and, and Ty can even – I mean, I know you've had a couple of announcements too that you broke, uh, Justin Perez per se. And yeah. yeah, I even put out there that his title would be the director of basketball operations. And, I mean, trying to nail down a specific title mm -hmm. with his staff, I mean, you're just – I mean, it's like throwing darts, but – um but I, like I think you've said before, I think Justin Perez is studying for the bar exam. He'll yeah. be here. Um, I actually just put out there a little bit ago, Gabriel Snyder. He's coming from the Knicks. Um, you know, obviously that's not going to get the juices flowing like a, a five-star football commitment. But this support <laughs> staff that, that KP's putting together is, is really, really strong. You have Reese Gaines. You have Milt Wagner. You have Justin Perez. And now you have Gabriel Snyder. Um, so that, that kind of slid under the radar and I'll push it back out in the morning. Um, but that's, that's another great hire from Kenny. Um, and that support staff's just as good as the assistant coaches are. Absolutely. And also real quick, because I've received this question a million times this week, Devin Ree is not on campus yet. However, they, they know it. It's kind of like Matt Cross was last year where Matt Cross, Oh, Matt Cross must not be coming, but he, he was there at the beginning of July last year. I believe it was the beginning. It was either the last week of June first week of july but the way oak hills school uh runs it runs a little wonky so that's why he's not here yet but i did notice this morning and i'll go ahead and, i know we, we got on here to talk about football yeah sorry uh, i kind of sidetracked us there but yeah yeah, yeah. No, no no you're good but i did see this morning where 
a fourth walk-on was added uh, for those of y'all. How do you know that? Well, I was given a list of names about a month ago. I've been checking the student directory every day. This morning, the fourth and final one popped in there. So we now have Ashton Miles DeVore. We have Zan Payne, which Zan's not been announced yet. Aiden McCool, he's not been officially announced yet either, I don't believe, transfer from Maryland. And the fourth one, Hersey Miller, son of Master P., officially the fourth member of that uh the, i mean we're assuming they're all four going to be walk-ons maybe uh maybe maybe not i mean i know that the the coordination congregation there is hoping for a couple of more uh commits and still i mean the whole imani imani gate is going on so we don't know what's going on with that but yeah man there's lots of things to be excited about but back to the main thing uh main topic for tonight ruben owens uh, listed by five star, I think it's by, um, it's a, is it two four seven or is it rivals? He's a five star. I mean, he's basically a five star. He's the number twenty overall player in the class, number one running back on rivals. Um, and the the biggest thing for me with the football recruiting is the schools that Louisville's beating out for these kids. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, last year. I mean, the offer sheets of the, some of the commits we were getting, you know, had the um, the Coastal Carolinas, the Tulane's, the um, you Western know, Michigan. The, yeah, the Toledo's of the world. And you, you can take a couple flyers like that that you think may be a diamond in the rough. But generally speaking, I mean, you really tell you can tell what kind of player you're getting based on what other schools are after them. And Texas is really, really, um, is really, really shocked at this Ruben Owens commitment. They, the, uh, the the Texas rival side seems to think that Ruben Owens is not going to stick with this commitment. Um, as A and M, Texas, and TCU were all heavily involved there, so um, we've got to get to signing day. That's that's obviously the elephant in the room, um, but but nonetheless, it, it's a, it's definitely an exciting night. An exciting time to be a Louisville football fan at that. Absolutely. That's the one thing that stood out the most to me, Ty, was when I wrote up the visitor list for this past weekend and I put the notable offers. Again, like last year, the notable offers were uh, us, IU, Georgia Tech, and Pittsburgh. This year it was Alabama, Texas, Tennessee, Oregon. I mean, just the cream of the crop. So – yeah, abs- uh, absolutely. It's a different. It's a different feel. I was completely just blown away. It wasn't like, well, we had one. Uh, a lot of the fans called him Sun Belt Scott because that's the kind of recruits that I've, I've never called him that. I've been a big advocate. The people that that follow the show know that I've been a big Scott Satterfield. Let's give him enough time, uh, advocate. But last year he did have a couple of guys uh, that had questionable offer sheets and some of them panned out some didn't but this year it was just like oh my god alabama on every single one georgia on on a majority of them uh texas usc washington oregon so it uh ruben just said he's not taking any more visits unless it's Louisville. well there you go breaking news i mean he had said earlier in the week he had a tcu visit i think planned for tomorrow i could be incorrect but yeah, I mean, that that's big if he doesn't take any more visits. But like Ty said, signing day is the key here. We have to get to signing day. He can – I mean, he could decommit all the way up until – I've seen people flip on signing day. So, I mean, Lorenzo Malton flipped to us on signing day. So, I mean, things – uh, you know, things could, could change in a heartbeat. Let's uh, let's go through a couple more of the, the viewer questions here. I appreciate y'all tuning in on a Monday night. Like I, I literally just threw this together at the last second. I was like, "Hey, Ty, won't you hop on here with me?" And he was gracious enough to do that, and we appreciate that. Let's see. Uh, oh, Fabio, and I do want to save some of this content for our our show the, uh, this Thursday at seven. We'll get into a little bit more. Uh, this was just going to be a quick Q and A, and we wanted y'all to sound off and let us know what questions you may have. The Fabio kid, man, I spoke to uh, to Mike James earlier today to get a little, you know, just to uh, to talk to him about this kid. And he's like, I have no idea. I asked him straight out, I said, why is this kid not ranked? Every, all the film that I see, he looks really, really good. And he's like, yeah, dude, he's going to be a huge steal for whatever team gets him. 
not a very impressive offer sheet, but he has shot up like five inches since uh, they last ranked recruit. So, I uh, yeah, Cameron, I think he's going to be – I don't know if I'm ready to go. He's going to be great, but he is very underrated. Uh, I think KP is going to make some good additions this year still. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I th- I know Ty was under this impression, as was I. I thought that all the roster moves were going to be done by this past Saturday or Sunday. It looks like there may still – I mean, unless, Ty, you got a different opinion on this. I think there's still a couple more rost- roster moves that are done but just haven't been announced yet. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I was given that timeline by – multiple people and I was even told that they were going to uh, do a full announcement of the Hersey Miller edition video press release graphic the whole nine yards Uh, I was told that was going to come out last week Um, obviously that didn't happen Um, but yeah I mean I I thought that that he would be in the fold officially and they were going to promote him as such Um, that didn't happen but yeah I still I still think they're not done with the roster. Obviously, as we talked about earlier, the the timelines that you're given, they those can change in a matter of seconds. Um, but I don't think they're done. Um, and, and I think, you know, back to the, the Fabio kid, I know we're, we're, we're wanting to talk football recruiting, but our mm-hmm. national recruiting director, Rivals, um, I talked to him a little bit. He's going to get a uh, – Fabio's going to have a profile created tomorrow – uh, he said that he would be a fringe 150 guy, and that was as of last year. So if you factor in his growth spurt and his development, I think you're looking at a guy who's probably around 100 to 125 in the country, um, which, you know, that's not the expectation moving forward. But at this point in the game, if you can take a flyer on someone like that who who can come in and, and give you minutes and spurts, I think you bring him in and, and, and try to trust Nolan Smith and his player development with the guards. Absolutely. And you can follow him on Twitter at Real Hooper FOB. Not really sure. I guess his nickname's Fob. So he just respelled that. You know, he's he's grown. He can spell his name however he wants to now. But uh, follow him on there. Also, make sure you follow Ty. He's at Ty Spalding, as it's spelled on the screen. I'm at Jeremy underscore CSZ. Uh, also, I do want to give a shout out to a couple of people that have been. Uh, that that have had to get new Twitter accounts, and there are people I talk to regularly. Uh, my guy, it's Coach Skinner fifty uh, six, and my guy, let's see, oh, it's O then three Y's three E's Carito eighty six. His didn't change. He just, I just wanted to shout him out because he does, uh, he supports us a whole lot, and I appreciate that. Hey, real quick, Ty, Jeremy, you, I was gonna say, Ruben, do you have anything else that you? Yeah, Ruben Owens tweeted out, I will not be taking any more visits unless it's to Louisville. So, obviously, um, that that's all good and well, and, and that's exactly what Louisville fans want to hear right now. But if you think these big-time schools are going to stop recruiting him, then then I, I would say you're probably wrong. But just, just hearing him say that he's shutting it down, he's not taking any more visits, that's certainly a good sign. And and um, that's certainly what you want to hear from from a top level guy who's who's you know still six months away from signing. So that's certainly good news from the horse's mouth right there. Absolutely. Do we know what his commitment bumped the class? Did it bump it up to eight, or did, was it already eight and it bumped it up to something higher? On rivals, it's thirteenth. But okay. I would say if you like football commitments and you like high level rated football commitments, I would. I would stay uh, stay close to your phone over the next couple of days. I think the uh, the offensive line is going to to get some some uh, shots to the arm here shortly. Yeah, and I want to make that one point before I let you go, Ty. And I, you're gonna have to come on more often. I really appreciate your insight. But I think going into this weekend, we all assume two commitments were gonna pop. We're, we're going to come out of this, and I, I think a lot of people thought it was gonna be O Lime, and I think they thought it was gonna be Burgess. And they thought it was going to be uh, what's the other kid's name? Is it church? church? Yeah, I think those are the two guys. And now it's looking like it. <laughs> we get the second highest, just depending on which boards you look at, the second highest ranked star commitment anyway, because we had higher ranked players before then, in my opinion. But 
since the star uh, era has has started, you've got the second highest and more already. When more committed a couple weeks ago, he was the highest in a while, and now we're adding the second highest ever. And then a guy, which it's not Church, it's not Burgess, it's Madden Sanker has been just tweeting and liking and retweeting and quote tweeting. It, those could be that. That would just be an amazing time for Louisville football. Again, you got to get to signing day. But if if Pierce Clarkson can, man, if he can single handedly recruit his entire offensive line, and yeah, get here, that's huge. Yeah. So you mentioned two names, uh, Luke Burgess and Jordan Church. I have my picks in for them to go to Louisville. Okay. I think it's all but certain at this point um, that they will pop here. Um, over the next couple of weeks, and I actually uh, just put in a, a pick for Madden Sanker to go to Louisville. Um, okay. So I think all three of those guys are on commit watch. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we get some official news over the next couple of weeks. And and Madden Sanker's inside the top 100 as well. So that would give Louisville four commitments inside the top 100 with Owens, Moore, Clarkson, and Sanker. So. So be on the lookout for those three names on the offensive line. There you go. And you heard it from Ty. You've heard it from us. Uh, Ty, I really appreciate you coming on here tonight. And anytime that you want to come on, just let me know. And and you're on, buddy. I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate it, Jeremy. Take care. All right. man. It's Ty Spalding, everybody. All right. Um, all right. I'll, gosh, dang it. It's the notorious HIG. Let me go to the, the question line real quick. And if there's anything I missed that y'all wanted to ask Tom, sorry. I was just trying to – I didn't want to waste his time – or not waste his time. I don't want to take up too much of his time. The fact that we're even getting looked at by recruits ranked that high is so exciting. Yes, Michelle, it is. There are a lot of salty fan bases on Twitter. Uh, L-O-R times 529. I'm going to say that's what it means. Owens just tweeted, and, and, and I did see that before Ty said it, and I apologize for not reading it. I just didn't want to uh, – did not want to interrupt him. I know how valuable his time is. Ruben just said he's not taking any more visits, right? It's very exciting. It is. Corey said beat. he beat him to it. Yes, let's go. Every time Hersey gets on the court, they should play. About it, about it, absolutely. The Clarkson family are legends. If any of you Clarksons are listening right now, feel free to uh, – Come to Louisville. You don't have to spend any money on a hotel room. You can come stay. I've got a couple extra bedrooms. I am here for the people. They moved Bates to 20% Louisville now. Andrew, we'll talk about that in a second. I want to I want to know who they are. Uh, what's the chance we keep Owens? You know, Bryson, I can't answer that because the first thing I thought was, well, you know, the, it, this looks nice off of a big recruiting weekend, but will he stick? And I don't know. I don't. Kamari Lands, it's going to be really good. They're super mad out here for sure. Everyone hit the like button. We need to keep this going, no doubt. Kentucky fans are livid. Master P was at Funk Fest. I saw that, and we are far from done. Joey, what up? Is Bates gone? No, he's not gone. Uh, we'll talk about Bates in a second here. I, I did pin that tweet. Higgy joined us. Uh, what's up, Higgy? Nothing much. Just got done walking. Now I'm walking the dog, so... I've already been in three miles today. Are you walking the dog or is the dog walking you? Uh, she is now just standing, but she was pulling me a second ago, but she had to go to the bathroom. Fair enough. Will we keep him? Says Bubba. I think I answered that. Rito, absolutely. Bo, but I'll say this. Fingers Owens, if we can get him to signing early signing day in December, where most of these cl this class is saying they're going to, I think we'll, I'm not worried at all, personally. Get them okay. to early signing day in December. Well, absolutely. If you can get them to sign, then you don't have to worry about them. Precious nuggets of thought from Higgy there. Asked Ty about his future cast. He did talk about it. I can't have my phone at work. We we haven't talked about Amani really yet anyway, but we will in a second. We we appreciate you, Ty. Jeremy, what's your percentage on Bates and Fabio? I think Fabio's a lock. Um, I don't. Uh, dang it, Andrew. I will ask him that. After the show, sign day is all that matters. Well, I love it. What is that talent just dropped significantly? Because <laughs> Higgy jumped on. Uh, Higgy, 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 can't you see? No, never mind. We all know you can't see your feet. Well, that was messed up, whoever said that. 
Well, I'm uh, starting to see my feet now, people. Okay. I can't remember a time this many people were hating on Louisville doing things right. Absolutely. The hate for Louisville is strong. LOL and two four side is the day. Oh, okay. How was his visit? Corey, he just got here about an hour ago. So I don't I don't I think his visit starts tomorrow. Uh Bryson's Correct. been into it. Thank you, Higgy. Uh, I've been into it with Big Blue Jesus and Kentucky fans all weekend, hating on the recruiting. Like, here's the thing. I know for a fact that Vince Marrow did not earn the name Bagman by just walking around and handing everybody rally coupons. Like, that dude's been passing out money for years, and that's why Kentucky, uh, uh, the, the blue team down the road even came close to becoming relevant on, on Louisville's level. Uh, that's just the facts. And now we're doing the same things legally that they were doing illegally. And, and now we're going to ball. I can smell the fear radiating from 60 miles east. Yep. Cat fans being pissy. Absolutely. Thank God Higgy isn't worried. Everybody breathe. Tim Slinker wants to fire Higgy. Uh, again, Danny C. Good job, Higgy. Keep it. Good job, Higgy. Keep it going. Mike Murphy. What's up, bro? Will Fabio reclassify? Well, that was close. Congrats, Higgy. Keep up the good work. Okay. Um, I, Bryson, I think he will. I asked um, I asked Mike earlier, and he said that that hadn't been discussed with him. And I don't want to tell you all too much of my private conversation, but that was that was that hadn't been discussed. What? Who knows? It, it may have been, and we just not know. Pierce Clarkson is the best recruiter ever. Louisville is making these haters mad. I love it. Forget them. Absolutely, do well. Almost, I did almost say the K word. Um, look, guys, you all know that about nine weeks ago, that a member of Amani's family texted me and said, "It's Louisville. Get the graphics ready." I even got a commitment graphic ready for him. Kept getting the answer. I'll wait till next week. Wait till next week. Wait till next week. Next week never came. Um, let's see who this is. Is this? Oh, okay. I was going to say, while you're looking at that up, we got to give a shout out to Pete Notka and the guys, all the recruiting team from this weekend. That What did they put on for those recruits was nothing but amazing with the Bentleys, the private jets, the uh, dinner, Churchill Downs, all that good stuff. We cannot thank that recruiting staff, the recruiting staff enough. Um, and I can't believe too. I just looked at the other day, just a little while ago as I was, I was typing that Ruben Owen story up. Pete Thomas is now the number one recruiter in the ACC and the number two in the nation. Did we ever think we'd say that six nine months ago? No. So, well, we had a couple of great recruiters on, on staff a couple months ago, six to nine months ago, but one of them was, in my opinion, unrightfully terminated, and the other one bounced after a year. Uh, or no, not even a year. How long was the, the guy that left us for Georgia? He oh, not even, even a him. month. Like a, Yeah, a few months. So that was dope. I know those kids love that. Absolutely. They hit it out of the park totally. Don't say the wordy dirt. Nope. Nope, not at all. Let me, uh, sorry, I'm trying to catch up to my Twitter feed. Oh, good. Hey, go check how many times you tweeted about Louisville. This guy can't get Louisville out of his head. Absolutely true. But, hey, I don't have an issue with Matt. I know y'all want y'all want to piss all over Matt Jones and don't like him. I actually work with him, or not work with him, um, he owns OVW, and we do a podcast for OVW, and he's always been nice to me. I know he's not always been nice to the university, so um, I would be uh, I would be okay with you all talking crap about him, but I can't I can't uh, I can't talk crap about him because he's he's been he's been cool with me. Uh, order R L Ho, I don't know. Steve is in the car ordering McDonald's at the moment. He will not be joining us. Okay, well, forget you. Um, now what do we have to do to keep these guys locked in? Well, if we're getting them because of NIL, then they're going to be locked in or they're going to lose their, their M O N E Y. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Let me get back on track. I did almost say that bad word, the K word. Uh, uh I, and you don't have to Paul. I'm not going to, I don't want to make any of you all like him, but I do. 
I do the the ringside podcast with my co-host and impact referee Daniel Spencer and OVW. Well, it used to be OVW's announcer. Uh, I forgot his name. He's not even important anymore. I'm just kidding. Uh, Eric Cornish was our co-host, but he left to do some, you know, just to enjoy life. And and their other their ring announcer Linda K will be joining us is our new third member on the next podcast. But yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, Bryce. I get off topic sometimes, and I apologize a little bit. Well, that's been the end of the 30 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. So, so got the graphic ready, beautiful graphic, sent it to him, loved it, and then it just went on and on and on. And then last week, when, when the entire city was freaking out about Michigan and Kansas State, I texted him uh, on a Monday, and then finally on Tuesday, they uh, – I say they because I'm not going to reveal. Did I already reveal who it was? No, you haven't. You just said a family okay. member. Okay, so the family member texted me back and was like, "Kansas State, lol, lol, lol," and he won't go to f. Uh, it sure won't be f in Michigan. Now, Michigan kind of crapped on him early in this process. Brian Davis apologized on your tweet last night. I don't remember what it was, so. I know, but boo, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. He apologizes on his tweet, not yours. Apologize. I, I know that. Apologize on my tweet last night. I don't know what the tweet his tweet last night was, but he'll tell me here in a second. We'll get to it. But um, no effing way it's going to be Michigan. Now, a lot of y'all don't remember this. At the beginning of this, it was Michigan. He was Michigan's to lose, and then they came out and said they didn't want the headache of Imani Bates. Fast forward to last week when all the Louisville media, because of all the Louisville fans freaking out and started putting Michigan in Imani's mouth, they even did a, a, a skit on local, or not a skit, a, a segment on local radio about they had somebody from Michigan hop on the air and they're like, well, I haven't heard that, but it's great you're hearing that. And then when you go to look at their message boards, and I don't do that, I have a couple people, shout out Trevor, uh, shout out to... Uh, well, the other people would prefer to be anonymous, but they sent me screenshots of rival boards in Michigan saying, we're not taking him. I don't know where this is coming from. But then let's wind the, the, the whole thing up to last night. I was laying down, resting, watching some TV, and I got a DM from one of my contacts up at overtime. And they were like, you'll be pleased to know that it's going to be Louisville or Michigan, which really had me thinking a little bit because I'm like, well, the people's already told me it's not going to be Michigan. Oh, I think we got five yards next year on Bates. I, I agree with you. I am. I am at a point with Imani Bates. Let's wrap this up. I'm not hopeful we'll get him anymore, and I'm hoping that since my hope is running out, that means he will commit tomorrow. But just the back and forth, the different things I'm hearing. Even with Courtney Ramey, man, Courtney Ramey was telling me, "Oh yeah, dude, I'm committing to Louisville." He was telling the uh, the Arizona guy, "Yeah, I'm committing to Arizona," which he did. And he was telling the dude on the East Coast, uh, West Virginia, "Oh yeah, I'm committing." He was telling everybody what they wanted to hear, and then he, but then he committed elsewhere. And I even spoke on the phone with Courtney. I've I've, I've known Courtney since he committed to Louisville the first time. So even when you're 100 percent confident, which I was confident we were going to get Ramey. I was 155% confident we are going to get Bates. But the, things was, the thing is this, and this is why I never liked giving, giving uh, behind-the-scenes news. I never did this before. I always got it, sat on it. Higgy, you can attest to that. There's stuff that we knew months in advance before it was announced. I didn't like doing that. I kind of got into that kick during the pandemic because I was bored. There was nothing to do, so I'd get on here and be like, hey, this is going down. Hey, this is going down. So, don't want Bates too much drama. River City Entertainment Group. I'm still waiting for that email, bro. Or, or, or sis. If Bates comes, great. If he don't, I'm good. I have confidence in the process. Well, brother, I gotta get, I gotta peace out. I got her pulling me back inside the apartment here. Okay, all right, everybody. That was Higgy. Everybody say bye to Higgy. Higgy's out of here. Hit him out. Hit it out of the park. Best believe KP and crew got back up. The backup might be better than Bates. Uh, I don't know. That Ramey kid's a snake. That's why he's been in college for eight years. 
Uh, you said that I didn't. I, I know him on a personal level. I do think it was kind of snaky to tell three different people, have three different people on Twitter talking about, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I've been told by a reliable source, and I, I could show you all the text from Courtney. I won't do that because that's not uh, that's not me. I'm not cut like that. But right, at this point, I just want him to commit someplace so we can move forward. Absolutely. Didn't Joey Baker take, take Bates' spot? I don't know. Bye, Higgy. See you, Higgy, in about a month. Do we still have a chance with the Duke guys? Um, yeah, we still have a chance with those Duke guys. They're in next year's recruiting class. We got a whole year. So unless they reclassify, we got a whole year to 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 uh, pursue them. Also, Michigan is recruiting an over kid. That is true, Tice. Michigan is recruiting an overseas kid for their last spot. Here's my worry. My whole thing all along is if it was Louisville nine weeks ago, then why have we not got a commitment yet? And after all this Michigan, Kansas State, Michigan, no, anywhere but Michigan, no, Kansas State, LOL. And when I was told, he just wants to hang out and work out with his people. I get that. He wants to work out with the people that have gotten him to where he is right now. I understood that for a long time. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks when I couldn't get them to write me back last week. It was, has he been preparing to go overseas this whole time? And I think that might be the, the move. I think it's either going to be, at this point, I am uh, going to say that I was wrong. Uh, the 155% on Imani is is dwindling for me. But I do feel comfortable saying that it's going to be Louisville or it's going to be overseas. I really think, I really think those are the two moves. Uh, unless his people were just so adamant about throwing everybody off the Michigan trail. I mean, I guess it's possible. They told Michigan, Hey, deny that we're recruiting these days. You never know what's going on, but yeah, Yusuf, that is his name, Brian. Thank you. No, it's not coming down to Eastern Michigan. Whoever put Eastern Michigan in that is high on some stuff that maybe they need to pass around uh, to some other people. That's what I think, because why would he not want to be here? Working with his teammates. If that was a decision all along, Paul agrees on Bates commit already. He's going overseas. Um, yeah, let's see. Rick, what's up, man? Sorry, I'm trying to catch up with everybody. A lot more traffic tonight than I thought we would have. You can only go by what his people tell. No, for sure. And and that's the thing that that's the, the hard. It look. And I know what sis is, I know what Michelle's gonna say. Don't give them no shine. Don't acknowledge them. Don't give them no credit. But look, I'm gonna do this one last time. Oh, ESPN put that. Well, they're always very fair and accurate with us. The, the, the hateful people on the message boards and online that, that like to tell me every time I'm wrong, even though it ends up being right or, or it, it, it changed. The, the fact of the matter is, is I can only share with you all what I'm told. Would you all rather me keep everything to myself or tell y'all what I'm hearing? And if some of it's right and some of it's wrong, it is what it is. Like, I like sharing that stuff with you all. When I'm told, hey, you can allude to this, I throw up a little cryptic gif on, on Twitter. And now since we've started doing the video show, I've been telling y'all some of the things that I've been told. But let's five y'all just got here a few hours ago. Yeah, that's what this. Oh, sorry. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, Ransdale family. Uh, he just got here. So you know, you go about Who's next on commit watch build me. Okay. So that's, that's what I keep. That's what I'm going to continue to do. I know I have Tim. I appreciate you, man. Look, Tim's Tim was there. Tim, Tim Slinker is in a very, very unique situation because Tim was there the day that myself and Steve rummage met for the very first time. Actually, Tim met Steve before I met Steve. I broke, we were all working, um, at geek squad in the warehouse repairing computers or we were actually in the parts department which means when one of the, the workers the agents out in out in partsville needed a part they would put in an order for it and we'd bag it put it in like a, a bin and send it over to them so i we were all supposed to start the same day and i actually broke my 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 foot so i started a couple of weeks later but yeah we uh we all kind of clicked from the very jump, man. I always have appreciated Tim. He's always uh, he's always motivated me because he knows like the kind of person I am. He knows the kind of person 
Steve is, and he knows that this all comes from a loving place. And it was actually Tim was one of the very first people that told me and Steve, me and Steve would pass every day at work away just by talking sports. He's like, man, y'all should do a show. And, uh, you know, th- he was kind of one of the first, not the first, but one of the first people was like, man, you should probably, you should probably look into this. And we, we started the website a couple of years later, then started the show after that. But man, Tim, big ups to you. Absolutely. The Florida hashtag Florida syndicate now. Yeah. Michelle, I'm not, I'm not going to talk. I'm not talking about those that, that this is the last time you hear me mention them because they're not worth my time. And the funniest thing of all is I've got all these friends sending me screenshots. I have no idea what they're just like pissing into a fan. Like I don't see any of that stuff. I don't care. Look, hop out of your grandma's basement, go outside and play a little bit, ride a bike. I'll, I'll buy you some construction paper and you can draw signs. I hate Jeremy. Eh, do it. Like, I don't, I don't care. Uh, the Villanova kid was committed to Radford, but I think backed out to me. Fabio. Uh, uh, great point, Fabian. Better turn for TV before the image burns into it. Oh, no, no. I'm good, Bobby. I appreciate it. But no, that's the last time I bring up unless something big happens on the message boards that you all bring to my attention. That's funny that I just have to laugh at. I really, and and maybe some of them are hearing the podcast and that's how they, they know on the, either they know what I say on the podcast from listening to the show or they're just making up stuff. But somebody from here is sharing the info with them and then they get on. Hey, hey, I hate him. So dang it, Steve. Watch y'all's podcast. Paul, I need you to. Paul, I need you to clarify what do you mean? Watch y'all's podcast. There, there is a mo. I do want to. I do want to hear that too. Three by Basili. Look, I'm gonna have Louisville's PA announcer on the show. Hopefully, very, very soon. We gotta just figure out a day. He's. I know he'd be up for it. I know he'd be game, but probably ride like the president. Paul, I need you to reiterate for me what you mean because you know what podcast you're listening to. Uh, so, all right. Do y'all have any other questions? Because we are 42 minutes into a 30-minute podcast. I just want to make sure I answer all y'all's questions. I got Ty in here so we could uh, have a little bit of fun. And, I, I again, y'all need to thank, uh, y'all need to thank uh, Brian because he's the one that suggested it. And I'm here on a Monday night. During Monday Night Raw, I'm a wrestling fan, doing a show, and yeah, I'm having a blast. Uh, record numbers. Don't leave us. I'm leaving you. I don't like you, Bubba. Tell them like Coach Nolan told us. Uh, go get it. That was hilarious. I want to come down this summer for the live show. Okay. Yeah, we are doing a live show for sure. Don't leave us. I listen to podcasts every day. I'm watching Facebook right now. Okay. Well, the the this show automatically is. So it, it broadcasts the Facebook, it broadcasts the Twitter and YouTube, and then it also goes into the uh, the podcast libraries like iTunes, Apple's, Spotify, Buzzsprout, Stitcher, any of those. Uh, I'm not going to do a wrap tonight because I wrap up tonight because this wasn't supposed to be an official podcast. It definitely wasn't supposed to go this long. So Brian, man, I appreciate you too. Um, I think we have three spots left. Uh, fa- uh, not Fabian. Uh, L O R. I tell y'all, tell me what y'all's names are. I have to call you by your, even if one of them look, Lance McGarvey, he's in. That's the the PA announcer for Louisville basketball. He's in whenever I say big dog. Sorry. So thank you for defying me and my family. Man, I I love y'all listening to me. Anytime y'all want to do this and it doesn't like interfere with the show, like, Unless there's big, big news the rest of this week, this probably will be our show for the week. I don't, you know, I just, I don't know yet. Uh, this will automatically be put into YouTube. So, but I don't know if I'm going to put a podcast this. I, I, I might. We'll see what it is. Fabian says, enjoy the rest of the night. Uh, four walk on spots. I think we have three left. Lance is in. Kansas State, okay, good for them. When is the live show? Thanks, Jeremy. Yep. We're on iHeart, Paul. What's up, Raymond? Uh, you're welcome, Michelle. Any Anytime, Steve. I appreciate you. 
Love the later time since kids are asleep. I won't ask again on a Monday. Hey, man, maybe we can do it. Just call me LOR. Do we have two spots left with the four walk-ons? I think we have three, but I could be wrong. Uh, just call you Lore. Okay, look, Lore, um, I'm not sure. I don't keep up with all the – I just like to have fun and have a good time and act like I'm sitting around the table talking to friends. So, and Bubba, since you love the later time, next time we'll do the show a little bit earlier. Um, so that way you won't tune in. I'm just kidding. But no, you're welcome. I appreciate y'all uh, Appreciate y'all tuning in. Do y'all have anything else? Uh, Paul, I get y'all. Yep, Duel, absolutely. Um, all right. Well, then we will, I guess we will end it at that. I'll go ahead and throw the, uh, the exit music on. Last question with all the cel- celebrities running around. Is in recurring recipe. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Laura. It is a good. It is a good, good day to be a card. Peace out, Bub. Any news on the meeting Friday? What meeting Friday, Steve? You'll have to DM me. Absolutely, it was a good show as always, uh, Tim. Yeah, Master P, will, that will be cool. That's another needs, another reason I need to wrap real quick. I don't want I don't want Marcus to be mad at me. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. This has been the Cardinal Sports Zone Q and A podcast, whatever you want to call it. We out of here. Oh, the IARP. No, we'll get we, we'll get the uh, we'll get the the revealing from that meeting in about six to eight weeks, I was told. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Paul. We out. Ooh.